Well, today, we'll be closing arguments in Gwyneth Paltrow's ski crash trial. Terry Sanderson's attorney is expected to start by recalling testimony made by their medical expert. And yesterday, Paltrow's defense team called a mechanical engineer to the stand. Sanderson is seeking $300,000 for the crash that he claims resulted in injury and brain damage. Meanwhile, Paltrow countersuing for $1 and legal fees. And joining us now, Joshua Ritter, host of the True Crime Daily Sidebar podcast, also a criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor. Thank you for being here, Joshua. Thank you. Let's start with this Gwyneth Paltrow case. Uh, her defense team continues to use experts as part of their defense. How is that playing in this trial so far, do you think? And how often do experts make the difference? Sometimes they can have a huge impact on a trial. In this case, I don't know uh, if they're going to have as big an impact as you might otherwise expect because this case really comes down to a, a pure uh, he said, she said scenario. Are jurors going to find either Paltrow or Sanderson to be more credible? Now, the experts have been helpful as far as the uh, demonstratives that have been used in court. We've seen this kind of video reenactment of how it could have taken place. And as much as the judge has explained to them, to the jurors, I mean, that this is not evidence, they're going to view it that way. It's really the only kind of visual that they've seen of how this could have taken place. But again, like I said, it's going to come down to who do they find to be more credible. And unfortunately for Mr. Sanderson, I think that the Paltrow team has done a good job of kind of impeaching some of his credibility, especially as far as statements that he made prior to in his deposition, uh, statements that he said about maybe having exaggerated his Simpson symptoms to doctors. And then most recently, he was impeached on um, travel that he has done since the time of the incident. Uh, showing Facebook photos of him on different trips around the world. So you think at this point, not looking so good for Sanderson? No, not looking great. Doesn't mean that, that he won't win some sort of mixed verdict at the end of this. Remember, this is a civil case, not a criminal, so it's not winner take all. And the jury could decide that they would both share some sort of liability in this, and he could win some sort of fractional win out of this whole thing. And we know time constraints have challenged both sides throughout uh, this eight-day trial. We know it's forced them to make some tough choices about who they'd be calling to testify. Do you think ultimately each side made the right call? I think so. And I think as much as we've had time constraints, they probably could have shortened this whole thing down even less. We've kind of seen an overblown trial over something that's really simple, whether or not an accident took place and whether who was who was uphill of the other is really what the question comes down to. And so, like I said, there were some eyewitnesses to this, but uh, neither one of them were enough to kind of carry the day for either side. So it's going to come down to, for the jurors at least, who do they believe more? Yeah. And we know, I mean, $300,000, Gwyneth Paltrow likely could have settled this out of court before it even got to this place. Obviously, it was important to her uh, to, to do this and to clear her name, despite all of the media attention and the headlines generated here. And I mean, many of those headlines just, uh, you know, dissecting every single outfit even that she's wearing to court every single day. Um, do you think ultimately for her image, this has played out the way that she wanted it to? You know, it's a great question, Natasha. I've talked with colleagues about why is she pursuing this? $300,000 is, is a lot of money to a lot of us, but to her, it's not so much that she could not have settled this. So I wonder if this really was about her clearing her name. And I think she's done a good job. She's represented herself well. I know that she's been scrutinized by the media for how that she reacts in certain ways. And, you know, even the water that she drank on the stand became an issue at one point. But I think she's done a good job of at least lending credibility to her version of how things took place that day. Yeah, the jury expected to deliberate after closing arguments today. So as we were speaking before, um, do you would be would you be surprised if the jury does not side pretty squarely with Gwyneth Paltrow in this case? I wouldn't be surprised, um, but I also wouldn't be surprised if the jurors kind of throw their hands up and say, you know what, we, we can't really believe either one of these people beyond uh, the, the preponderance of evidence standard that we have here. And I wouldn't be surprised if we come out with some sort of mixed bag verdict, which assigns liability uh, or negligence to either side to some extent. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.